Hey, Cameron here with the Seat Butters channel. There's been lots of reviews and benchmarks out about the Ryzen 7 line of processors from AMD. And uh, it's a great processor, great for media content creation, great for gaming, but uh, there's been a lot of controversy about how good it is for gaming, especially at 1080p. Uh, there's what what people generally find is if you have a 4k monitor and have bumped up the resolution a lot you're really going to be GPU limited rather than CPU limited where at 1080p uh, you might need a little bit quicker processor to get things done now there's a, not a whole lot of people and almost no benchmarks about this particular form factor the 3440 by 1440 uh, ultra wide QHD, UW QHD resolution. So I thought I would do some benchmarks using an Intel 5960X and the Ryzen 7 1700X. And the kicker here is I'm going to clock them both at 4 gigahertz. Um, I've run my 5960X at 4 gigahertz. For a long time that's kind of my desired uh, trade-off between you know you bump up the, your voltage your clock's too high and uh, it just uses more power than you need otherwise I found four gigahertz was a good good range to be uh, same with my Ryzen 7 it also does very well at four gigahertz so I thought we'd just kind of have a same clock speed comparison of these two processors at the ultra wide resolution now this is just showing all the benchmarks all in sequence, but if you want to skip ahead to just the results, uh, go to about the 14 minute mark. Otherwise, I will see you at the end of the results.
Okay, so what did we learn? It's, it's still hard to analyze these numbers. Um, sometimes it didn't matter at all whether you're using the Ryzen CPU or the Intel CPU. Um, in other cases, particularly Grand Theft Auto V, uh, it just seems to love that Intel Core uh, way more than the Ryzen. But it, what's funny is uh, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, I've seen a lot of people uh, showing a, a deficit in there. We really didn't see too much of a deficit in Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Ryzen CPU. Now, I was running this at optimal settings uh, for both processors, really. This was running in quad channel, and this was running at uh, 3200 on the RAM, uh, which... AMD, the higher the memory speed you get, the more performance you get. Where Intel, you, you up the RAM speed, you don't necessarily get very much of a performance boost um, at all. Uh, maybe a few percentage points. But with the Ryzen CPUs, it can really make a difference. So, um, I don't know what to say. Like, for me personally, like on my monitor, you know, I, I'd be happy with either processor. These are all ultra settings. Um, really, if you were getting a little bit of performance deficit, you could just bump down a few settings and probably be fine. But uh, obviously for the money, Ryzen's the better CPU. For the absolute best, Intel is still probably king of the hill. Um, but uh, you can also, well, not to mention the Intel, you could probably squeeze a little more uh, megahertz out of it versus the Ryzen. But, I mean, this is a $1,000 processor. This is... Uh, a $400 or if you get $1,700 of a $300 processor. So um, there's sure a lot of value in that Ryzen processor. And it's, I mean, it's not bad at gaming. I mean, people are like, oh, it's not good at gaming. Well, it's it's just fine at gaming. Not to mention if you do any sort of content creation, it's good. But anyways, this was more just to give some benchmark figures at the ultra wide resolution. Uh, for those of you who are looking for it, didn't mean to get into a big diatribe about what's better than the other but uh thanks for watching the channel hope you enjoy this subscribe we'll have some more in Ryzen coverage coming up i've done a video documenting uh this Ryzen build that i just put together so go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be sure to catch that as it comes out later this week thanks for watching